For our database section, we're going to use Airtable, which works on both a Mac and on a Chromebook. It'll also work on a PC, but I'm doing this as an alternative for Chromebook or Mac users. So to install it, you have to go out to your Google Drive. You should have one with your MCC email address if you don't have a separate one. It doesn't matter which one you use. So you're going to go into New and into More. And then you're going to need to scroll down and connect more apps. And what you want to look for is Airtable. And this is what you're going to need to install to Google Drive. And so you'll have to select your account. I've done this a couple times. I uninstalled it, so it may not give me exactly the same thing. You may have to log into it. I may or may not have to. But I wanted to show you how to install it in case you hadn't added an app to Google Drive. OK. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit Done. I'm going to close this. And I'm again going to go to New, More, and Airtable. And you will need to sign in. Select your account. And I'm going to allow it to see my contacts. So just as a practice to see that you can create something, I'm going to have you go ahead and create a content calendar, just so that you can create something. I'm not going to have you make any thing in particular with it. I just want to sort of show you around so I can explain how a database works and how it's different than a spreadsheet. When you have, so you can see up here I have content production, social schedule, freelancer timesheets. These are all three connected and so you can see that you can attach files into here. It'll show you who the writer is, and it will let you find a collaborator or whatever you want to do. But you have multiple tables that can connect to each other. We're going to create some from scratch in our next uh, lesson. But for right now, you can just take a, sort of take a look around. And on each one of these, you can see that you can customize the field type. We can sort it. So we can sort last to first. We can add filters. We can do all sorts of different things. And we have content production. And this is all information. It's like a spreadsheet, except the difference between a spreadsheet and a database is that you have multiple spreadsheets that you can tie together by a common field, often called a key field. And we'll be doing that in our next exercise, where we can create a database of people's pets, things like that. But for right now, I just want you to get this started. And so I want you to share, invite by link, and you want to grant go ahead and grant creator options to your teacher, create the link. And then you will copy this link and hand it in on Canvas.